All right, good morning. Uh, today we're leaving Cinque Terre. We just are wrapping up some packing. We're gonna grab some breakfast real quick. Our train doesn't leave until 11.30. We made reservations ahead of time and then we're on our way to Florence today. And on the way between Cinque Terre and Florence is Pisa. So we're actually gonna stop over in Pisa and then we're gonna hop back on the train and head to Florence. All right, we'll see you guys in Pisa. All right, we're on the move. We're at the train stop and uh, our train comes at 11.23, it's what time? 10.48. 10.48, yeah. so we got some time to kill um, and we're just watching chaos unfold. I mean this train station at La Spezia, it's like the gateway to Cinque Terre, it's just so busy right now. So now we sit and wait. So we just arrived at Pisa Station, it's about how hot? 90 degrees. Yeah, so we're gonna go drop our bags. We've got about two hours here. Um, there's a luggage storage around the corner, and then we'll walk to the Leaning Tower. So in total, it's about four euros to store our bags for about two hours as we go and see Pisa. So nice to just not carry them around. We officially made it. So this place is actually really beautiful, really well maintained, though I used to think that you could sit on the grass to do your photos, but now nobody's allowed on the grass. So. Used to be able to back in the 90s. So now sure. everyone's on the marble, which is not bad, but it's pretty crowded. So we just finished up Pisa, it's checked off the list. Now we're gonna head back to the train station via a bus because the walk was far too long and night and great heat. And then we're gonna head on to Florence. Yeah, pro tip, take the bus to get down here. It's about a 20 minute walk from the train station. Um, which in like 90 degree heat is brutal because <laughs> there's not really a lot of shade or breeze. So bus or electric scooter, we're gonna bus it though. Welcome to Florence. <laughs> This is really like our first big city in Italy that we've been to and you can already tell just the improvements, like much nicer, a little more modern. Uh, or something, it's fantastic, amazing steak. Amazing steak, and now we're walking home. So today we're going to show you one full day of activities in Florence, including cost, so that you can plan for your trip in the future. So after these beach days, we are going to be heading to the Duomo. Jeff has just informed me that <laughs> the Feet Seas is actually the Feet Sea. So I'm so sorry about that. But anyway, we are headed there first thing this morning, and then we're going to actually head to the Duomo, which is a cathedral. So me being a woman and it being a cathedral, I need to cover up. So that means shoulders and knees. And I think it's going to be about 98 degrees today, so it's going to be warm. Yeah. Alright, so the easiest way is to take bus C2. To take bus C2, you need these bus tickets and a mask. You can get them at uh, tobaccarias or coffee shops. Um, also, you can supposedly swipe your car, but we haven't figured out how. Probably not going to hear us say this enough on this trip, but if you can get somewhere early, 
do it. This place was so busy the last couple of days that we walked around here and it was almost unbearably hot with so many people on the street and it is completely empty in the morning, so plan ahead. Um, we got here early, we were alone, or not alone, but no, well, we were pretty alone, which is really nice. Just a pro tip, you can buy audio guides at 6 euros at the entrance, or you can do the Rick Steves audio tour, which is what we did, except we forgot headphones. But there's like a little text write-up, so we were able to follow along and roughly walk through it. It's about 63 minutes long. We spent a little less because some of the pieces of art that they wanted to talk about, we weren't that interested in, and we spent more time in the statues. I particularly like the Greek myth stuff, so I spent a lot of time with that, um, but it was awesome. It was amazing. Early morning is the way to go. So now we're off to the bell tower and we're gonna climb to the top. All right, so we're about to enter the bell tower here. Uh, it's also pretty warm at this point. Again, book your tickets online. This costs about 20, 24 bucks a person. Wish us luck. Wish us luck. Bell tower. All thousand steps are over. <laughs> We're really hoping this is not the line to the Duomo, but if there's one thing I learned while traveling, if there's a long line, you're probably supposed to be in it. Let's hope not. was indeed the line to get in. So we're gonna skip it and we're gonna go to the cathedral next door. Line's a little bit shorter as you can see. So that was absolutely beautiful, but now it is time for our favorite part of the Italian day. We're gonna go do a little siesta. It is 10:15 a.m. It's already 81 degrees. And climbing. <laughs> and we're gonna go relax for a little bit. All right, it's just a complete. <laughs> we're feeling refreshed. The weather's cooling down a little bit. We got a little bit of work done and planning. Uh, now we're gonna grab some dinner. Totally missed this, uh, but we went and actually had a workout after we went and saw the sights today. And then we went and got some pizza and we wanted to film, but A, we forgot the camera and B, I would, even if we had the camera, I was just stuffed in my face. It was some of the best pizza I've ever had. So sorry, you guys don't get to see that, but basically just go anywhere around here, grab a pizza, and thank me later, also use the chili olive oil sauce. Ready to go? Yeah. Let's do it. To be completely honest, we have no idea where we're gonna go eat tonight, so we figured we'd just walk around and wing it, try to find a cute little place, and then try to grab a table. This place looks pretty good. We're gonna give it a shot. Ladies and gentlemen, you've all been waiting for our update. We stuffed our faces and it was amazing. Definitely go there, we highly recommend. 
yeah, it was amazing. Absolutely great. So now continuing on, we're gonna go grab us some gelato. I think it's only the second gelato we've had here. And it's supposed to be a really good place. Gelato spot. This one just across the street. Jeffrey opted for two. <laughs> one pistachio and one hazelnut. I got dark chocolate and we got an amazing no, three, four, you're right. Jeffrey's not in the shop because I'm terrified somebody's gonna come by and swipe this camera. So he's protecting it with his life. Now, we're gonna go to a little shopping bridge. And our battery's gonna die. So, so you're probably not gonna see it. Good night. Hope good you night. enjoyed your day in Florence. We'll update with the totals when uh, we have battery again. But who knows when that will be.